there's certain keys you got to have to be successful with the bump and run. It's actually a very easy shot and it's actually an extension of your putting stroke. And that's exactly what I try to do is mimic my putting stroke. The only difference is, is that I'll put the ball back in my stance a little bit. I use, actually use my putting grip on a lot of these, which is a reverse overlap. You can use your regular grip. It doesn't really matter. The key to it is the setup. You get into it with your feet narrow and the club head or the grip of the club in your hands ahead of the, the ball and the club head. And what I want to do is maintain that relationship through the stroke. You can see as I turn or uh, take the club back, the hands stay in front of the club and I'm not doing any flip. I don't want to do this. I don't want that club head to pass my hands. That's the worst thing you can do. A lot of times that'll end up, you'll, you're creating more loft on the club, you'll hit behind the ball and you get inconsistent shots. What I want to do is once I set the angle of the club and I have set the loft of the club, I want to maintain that loft throughout the stroke. The only way you can do that is to keep your hands in the same relation that you started. So it's pretty simple. I just get right here. I got my set. I know where I want to land. It's going to break a little left to right. Narrow stance. I'm pretty much on top of the ball. Now I want to maintain the loft that I put on that club and roll it right to the hole. Okay, and that was a very good chip. Now that one I almost made and I'm going to most likely get up and down from there and make that putt. It's pretty simple. And if you work on this for even five minutes a day, you'll cut a lot of shots off your game. To learn more from Jim Furyk and Fred Funk, visit expertinsight.com to pick up a copy of Short Game Golf. This great DVD is available for only $29.99 at expertinsight.com.